Hey, listen to this. Who is that? Joan Jack? Pixies? No, it's not them. It's by Disney Star, and it's the fifth biggest song in the country right now. Like, don't get me wrong, it's not the hardest song on the planet. And I'm not cool, and I'm not smart, and I can't even parallel park. Like, I wouldn't play it for the boys while you do heroin. But come on, it's pretty fun. And you know what the song at number one is? What is this? My iPod Classic? It's been said that it sounds like Paramore, and it does, but I like it. And it's number one in the world. I don't want to place too much value on chart performance, but I am also a hypocrite. Like if I don't like the song, charts don't matter. But if I do, and it's interesting because I feel like even alt rock lately has been drifting more towards like a bubble pop direction, which don't get me wrong, but sometimes I like it a lot. But meanwhile, the groundwork of the pop punk comeback has been laid by the biggest pop stars like Post Malone. He's been playing Green Day songs at his concerts. Do you have the time? And he did a full concert that was just Nirvana. Hey, and it was pretty good. And then there's MGK, who's making the best Blink-182 song since 2003. But they're all relatively older. Well, my age. So I thought we were all being nostalgic, overgrown middle schoolers. But no, no. We're cool. So my point is, in my last video I was saying that guitar is not dead. But it turns out, it might just not be not dead. But it might be the next big thing. So this was an advertisement for my channel where you can learn guitar, so subscribe.